Now the old school Vans are one of the most versatile, cheap pair of sneakers that you can own, but are you wearing them to their fullest potential? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five different ways on how to style a pair of old school Vans as well as some clothing alternatives that help you achieve a similar look even if you don't have the same items. Let's jump into it. How's it going everybody? George here from GP Lifestyle, helping you dress better, look better, and ultimately be better through tips, tutorial, and style videos like this. And in today's video, I'll be going over five different ways that you can wear a pair of old school Vans. Now, if you're new to the GP Lifestyle channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when we post a new video. Let's jump right into it. The first outfit here is essential for that day-to-day -day fashion. We're gonna start off this outfit with a gray crew neck sweatshirt. Now, if yours is ribbed at the bottom and you notice it starts to flare out to the sides, kind of like a muffin top, what you can do is actually fold that ribbing over and have sort of this tucked in look. It's neat and I personally like it. Next, we're going to pair these with a pair of cargo joggers. I like these because of the texture and the tapered design. Now, if you don't have cargo joggers, definitely any pair of cargo pants would do great. Even cargo pants on their own look great as long as they're not super baggy and have a whole lot of pockets going on. Then we're going to pair this with a light wash denim jacket. Now, these are my favorite to pair with a look like this. Since we're going with all neutral tones, definitely going with something that has a pop of color to it, definitely spices it up and brings it a little bit more to life. Now, yours does not need to have a giant tiger on the back. You're a lot cooler if you do. But then again, this is a great outfit for day-to-day -day fashion. If you're going on walks, running errands, or you just want something simple and easy to put on. Second outfit here, we're going for a casual streetwear look. We're going to start off this outfit with a oversized graphic t-shirt. I'm only sizing up one size here just so it can look a little bit fitted, but definitely size up more if you'd like. Next, we're going to pair with a pair of distressed black jeans. Now, the ones I'm wearing are a skinny stretch fit from Fashion Nova, and they are actually uh, distressed just at the knees. I personally think this is the best distressed look because it's not too destroyed and it's tasteful, and I like the look of the ripped knees. Now, here for accessories, we're going to go with a chain and bracelet combo. Now, for the chain here, if you have a chain that's a bit shorter, like 18 to 20 inches, and it's a bit thicker, I personally think it's going to look great, and having a bracelet on is just nice to complement the chain to and you're not trying to be super you know show off -y. it's nice it, it goes great and this is honestly great if you're going to get coffee you're going for like a walk on the beach i personally like this outfit it's a nice urban rugged aesthetic and it's ultimately great for the summertime now, if you're enjoying the outfit so far and you'd like to see more videos like this be sure to drop a like it really helps me out the third outfit here we're going again for a casual look but helping you stand out just a little bit more we're going to start off this outfit with a black pima cotton t-shirt this one is from uniqlo i like these they're cheap and they're excellent next we're going to keep our same pair of distressed jeans from the previous outfit now if you want to mix it up here a little bit definitely you can go with all black trousers or even a black all black jogger is an excellent pick as well if you're getting tired of wearing black distressed jeans. Then we're actually going to pair this with some drip. Yes, you heard me right, some drip. What we're actually going to do is we're going to add, going to wear a matching chain and bracelet set again. But this time we're going to go with two chains. I'm going with two silver uh, Cuban links. One is about 22 inches, the other is 20 inches. They match each other nicely and they're still a bit minimal. And then we're going to match it with a coordinated bracelet and ring combo. This is excellent if you don't feel like wearing a watch all the time. And then for our focal point of the outfit, we're going to layer this with a brown suede biker jacket. And I personally think this is an amazing fit. It's actually the first actually fit I posted on my Instagram page, which is honestly Kind of great. If you don't have yourself a suede biker jacket, some alternatives are, can be a brown corduroy jacket. You can go with a tan overcoat here as well, or even a gray windbreaker is a nice option because wearing everything black and silver here. So everything is going to match great, but we want a, a nice, focal point for really to draw attention to the outfit and make that individual piece stand out. So definitely look for other items that stand out. And the fourth outfit here is definitely not for everyone's taste but if you're really looking to expand your fashion definitely give this one a shot it is a little bit more streetwear heavy so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a white crew neck sweater much like the gray one from the first outfit we're going to pair this with a black 
pair of chino shorts. I like these, they're a bit more structured and they're also getting some versatility out of it. We're going to wear a longer necklace like the one I'm wearing now, just so it is not a big white canvas that we're putting, that we just have as our upper body, but we actually have a little bit going on there. We're gonna go with a bit of a thicker bracelet and ring combo. And here comes the sauce in this one. We're going to actually go with a pair of mid calf to high calf logo socks. I really had, I had this pair of off-white socks that I really wanted to try out. I haven't got the opportunity to wear them yet. So definitely I'm giving them a shot here. And this is a little bit more, you know, everything here matches, which works. The accessories are nice, but having the socks a little bit higher, it's a little bit out there, you know, if they're logo socks, you get to show off a little bit. And it's kind of fun, you know, this is something you're gonna wear once in a while, maybe just for like a picture, for a video, or just, you know, it's definitely worth the shop. And definitely you have these options out there to go with your Vans. The fifth and Final outfit is definitely great for the summertime, especially if you're going to go out like on a date or you're gonna go out for lunch. It's actually an awesome fit. We're gonna start it off with a black and white floral. Sure, this is one from Calvin Klein. I really like this one, it's one of my favorites. Then we're gonna go pair this with a pair of light non-distressed blue jeans. I personally like these a lot. They're a bit of a slim straight fit. I'm gonna cuff them at the bottom and then we're gonna pair this with a watch and ring combo and then throw on our old school vans. And this is something that I love to wear during the summertime if I'm not gonna be at the beach, but it's a warmer day. And I just like this. this is great for, you know, if you're gonna go out and get lunch, you're gonna get a coffee. I just like this fit, everything goes and it is just an awesome fit for the summertime. And there you guys have it, five different ways on how to style a single pair of old school vans. If you made it this far into the video, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel because I can tell you are way more serious about dressing better, looking better, and being better. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out some of our other videos on screen right now and we hope to see you in the next video. Peace.